Hello my friends, welcome back to Mrs. Kitchen's class. Today we're gonna talk about how to create a dual screen to play Kahoot while you're also in either Zoom or Microsoft Teams. So let's pretend that your teacher is sharing their screen and this is what you're seeing. You need to start by going to Kahoot.it. So go up to the top and click a new tab and then you're gonna go to Kahoot.it. After it loads, you're gonna click on the tab and while you're still holding down that click, you're gonna pull it away from the screen. Did you see that little green circle? And then you're gonna click over and pull it all the way to the right until you see a ghost screen and then let it go. And then you will tap your teacher's screen and it will create a dual screen. You'll be able to then put in the Kahoot ID and click enter and then add your nickname so that you can go ahead and start playing. And you'll just wait until your teacher starts it. Now, since I'm the teacher, I'm also gonna be pressing start and you'll be able to see your name right there and you'll be able to wait until it starts. So we're gonna pretend now like it's started and you're gonna see that the question is gonna come up first. That way you'll be ready and then you'll click whichever symbol you need. You can also click true or false or whatever the type of question is. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up because you don't need to watch me do the whole Kahoot, but I do want you to know that while you're playing this, you won't get to click next and things like that. That's gonna be up to the teacher. I'm just the teacher and the student on this. So if that gets confusing, that might be why. So I'm gonna go ahead and I want you to see what happens at the end of the Kahoot. So I will be speeding this up and be back in just a second. Okay, so now we're at the end of the Kahoot and I won. I got first place, of course, because I was the only one playing and I can see my score up there. So now I'm just gonna exit out and click leave. And then I can X out my other one and leave. And now I'm back to my desktop. That's pretty much all you have to do to create a dual screen to do Kahoot and also do um, Microsoft Teams or Zoom. I hope you had fun learning about this. Stay tuned for more from me and I will see you in class soon. Bye friends.